Hey, Divi Nation. Thanks for joining us for day 19 of the Divi 100 Marathon. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add more social media icons to Divi's header and footer areas by adding a small PHP snippet to your child theme. Let's get into it. In this Divi Quick Tip, I'm gonna show you how to add social icons to Divi's header and footer areas. Uh, as you can see, I've already added one additional icon, the YouTube icon, um, and now I'm gonna add the Instagram icon as well. Here's how. First, you need to make sure that you have a child theme installed. So this is the kind of change that if you don't make it to your child theme, then it's gonna be overwritten the next time that you update Divi. So uh, with a child theme installed and activated, you need to access your WordPress file tree via an FTP client. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, I've included links to other posts on our blog in both the YouTube show notes as well as the accompanying blog post uh, for this video. So you want to navigate in that file tree to your Divi theme and to includes, and then you want to locate the social icons PHP file here. Now go ahead and copy that file. And with it copied, navigate to your Divi child theme. So here I have Divi child. And you want to create a folder called includes, all lowercase. Since I've already done this once, that folder already exists, but it won't exist for you. So just create a new folder within your child theme, call it includes, all lowercase, and then paste that file, that social underscore icons dot PHP file into that folder. So I've already done that. So all I need to do at this point is open it up and make our edits to it. So you've already done the kind of hard part, which is getting in the file tree and moving uh, these files around from your parent theme to your child theme. So now it's just a matter of dropping in um, a, a pre-written snippet and making a little uh, minor edit to it. So let's just open this up. And you can edit this in text, uh, text edit, text wrangler, Adam, whatever your favorite text editor is, um, whether that's the one that's default on your computer or something specifically for code, um, it'll all work. So I have the snippet right here that I need. This will be available in the accompanying blog post for this, um, for this tutorial. And that link again is going to be in the show notes and it's day 19 of the Divi 100 marathon. That's um, in our Divi resources category on the Elegant Themes blog. So what you do is you want to copy that snippet, paste it below, and then as you can see, it's got all information here for YouTube. So what I'm going to do is change it to Instagram, and um, the format is exactly the same. All I need to do is swap out um, Instagram information. Now this link right here should go to my Instagram account. Okay, and once these changes are made, um, all I need to do is save them and then go back to my web my website and refresh it. And there we go. We have a brand new uh, social icon right up here in my Divi header and down here in my Divi footer. And if you want to add any more, all you need to do is create another instance of that same snippet below the Instagram snippet in your social icons PHP file and substitute the information for a different social network. A full list of the networks that are supported by Divi is included in the accompanying blog post. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope that you're enjoying the Divi 100 Marathon. We look forward to sharing many more Divi tips and tricks throughout the series. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our email newsletter so you never miss a thing. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.